Hello, Gemini, and welcome to your weekly love quickie. Thank you very much for being here. We're going to be starting with the Angel Answer Oracle cards. And this card is going to either answer your question at the end of the reading or become a part of the reading. Whoops. So let's see. Five. Oh. Now, we don't look at them. I don't even look at them. I'm taking the two that came out. Okay. Romance Angel Oracle card to actually start the reading now, Gemini. Let's see. Five. Four for Gemini. Oh, there we go. Okay, what did we get? Okay. Healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. I whine about this card every time because I just think that as adults, at some point in time, you have to say enough is enough and move on from it. And I know that's not easy. Trust me. Better than anybody I know. So to me, this is, you know, when you're brought up believing certain things, that as you get older, you start to question and it just makes life a little harder because you're just not used to the way other people think. And so, or maybe you were brought up and, you know, you have, what is it called? Middle child syndrome or something, you know, where, you know, you never got attention because you were, you know, the middle out of three or you know, there's all these different things that when we grow up, we have to deal with, and it's not always easy. And sometimes I guess, wow, the issues have to do with, uh, they affect, excuse me, our love lives. Now, a lot of cards came out, but I'm taking, there's a pile I'm not taking. This one turned up face up in the deck, and then these came out, so... I believe this is the order that I'm supposed to read them in. <laughs> the Five of Pentacles, how appropriate. Look at they're walking path past, oh, I'm so glad I can speak. Oh, nice warm church. Look, here's the stained glass window with the pentacles in it. It's a bright orange. The church is lit with lights, probably warm. And here they are, you know, crutches, raggedy clothes in the snow walking away so to me this speaks to your healing family issues this is you being like you know what this church might seem like it's all nice and warm just like the family might seem like it was all nice and warm but whatever you had there wasn't warm for you and so you need to walk away and find your new church your new not walk away from your new from your family per se but walk away from the beliefs that they held. So to me, it does work well with the whole concept of a church because a church you belong because you feel like you belong and you believe in what they believe, at least for the most part. So to me, this speaks to it. So this is you healing those family issues, walking away the page of cups. This is a passionate new start, but it's a very, very new start for you. So this to me says that you are on this path. You've already started the journey and it's, it's working very well. And <laughs> the two of pentacles, I find this interesting that the two of pentacles, pentacles, pentacles came out in the Aries reading, but for a different reason. But the two of pentacles is juggling too much go you know it's you know your money your career you know you're you're very focused on this and you got a lot of things going on in that direction so to me this says that yes you are healing your family issues so that you can move on in your romantic life but your passionate new beginning it may be put off because you are so busy elsewhere or the other story is you have a passionate new beginning and you're playing with two different people. <laughs> you know, here's one on Saturday. Here's one on Friday. What's brunch on Sunday? Yes, I know what's going on in the world, but 
some places are opening and some people are doing things like I've said before, like hiking, wear a mask, Zoom meetings. There are many ways of getting to know somebody, especially if it's a new beginning. So let's see, what are your angel answer cards? Do you remember, do you know what your question is? Got it? Okay, here we go, Taurus. Oh, this is Gemini's reading. I've been saying the wrong thing throughout the whole reading. Oh, who have I been reading for? <laughs> oh my God. Oh. Well, I'm going to put this out there, Gemini, because I am Gemini, and I just screwed the pooch in a big way on this one. Pardon the expression. Oh, my God. Meditation brings answers. <laughs> Not for me. Apparently, I need to meditate a little more. And success. Well, so you are going to overcome your, your, your family issues. You will have success in your romantic life. But apparently, Be the Unicorn Tarot is going to be looking like, oh, what the heck was she thinking? Keep in mind, I don't do drugs. I don't drink. And there's no excuse other than I have no idea. Oh, I usually have a notepad over here. And I do have it over here, but I don't have it in a way that I can read. Because you get lost in 12 signs. So... I apologize, Gemini. I'm going to give you a bonus reading when I'm all done. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Wow. I'll have to read back and see who I uh, said. So thank you. <laughs> if this resonated, Gemini, give me a thumbs up. If you enjoyed the laughing afterwards, uh, on me not knowing who I was reading for, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. <laughs> thank you. And as I keep saying to everybody else, lots of love. <laughs> Bye. Oh, my God.